I'll explain the overhaul procedure for main bearing metal and thrust metal. Prepare the hydraulic tool before overhauling the main bearing metal. Prepare the exclusive tool as you are watching in the video. Let's start the overhaul. Firstly, turn the flywheel and set the piston next to the main bearing at a position of 120 degrees before TDC. Install the spacer and hydraulic jack on the nut of main bearing bolt and then attach the hydraulic tool in the same way of tightening nut of cylinder head. Secondly, detach the side bolt of main bearing that will be disassembled and then loosen the next bolts on both sides. Applying hydraulic pressure to the hydraulic jack and loosen the tightening nut of main bearing bolt. Close the relief valve of hydraulic pump and raise the hydraulic pressure to specified value. Insert the exclusive turning bar into the spacer notch keeping specified hydraulic pressure and then loosen the nut. After all two of tightening nuts are loosened, remove the hydraulic tool in the same procedure as tightening nut of cylinder head. After removing the hydraulic jack, loosen the cap nut of main bearing two or three turns and set the drawing out tool to the main bearing bolt and fix it by the bolt. Fit the drawing out bolt on the main bearing cap. Turn and draw out the nut. Remove the tightening nut of main bearing cap and install the holding tool to the bolt. Screw the circular nut into the holding bolt and fix it to the main bearing bolt to hold the main bearing cap. Firstly, after fixing, detach the lower metal of main bearing. Remove the upper metal by the detaching attaching pin. Set the detaching attaching pin in the oil hole of crankshaft from non-operating side. The upper metal is pushed and drawn out by turning the flywheel to the rotational direction slowly. Remove the thrust metal. The thrust metal is equipped in the front and the rear of the first main bearing cap at the flywheel side. It is possible to remove both of upper and lower thrust metals with drawing out the first main bearing cap by hand in the same procedure as before. Check the removed parts. Check the contact on the rear and mating surface of each metal and also check for cracks, seizure and embedded foreign matters on the surface of each metal. Measure the metal thickness under the instruction 
and if it exceeds the limit, replace the metals. Replace the necessary parts after checking and then assemble it. Incorporate each one of the upper and lower thrust metals of the frontal and rear parts at the respective former point, not mistaking one for the other. Match the print marking of upper metal to the cylinder block side and assemble it along the crankshaft. Mate the groove with the crankshaft side and incorporate the lower metal. Regarding the assembly of the main bearing, turn the flywheel to lower the oil hole in the crankshaft below the center of crankshaft. Direct the pawl of the upper metal toward the non-operating side and insert the upper metal along the crankshaft. Position the upper metal in the forward-backward direction so that its pawl will mate with the pawl hole in the cylinder block. Attach the inserting implement of upper metal to the main bearing cap. At this time, attach the implement, mating its one curved end with the outer periphery of a main bearing cap clamping bolt on the operating side and aligning the other step end with the inner periphery of main bearing cap. Fit the detaching attaching pin to the oil hole of crankshaft at non-operating side by the grease. Screw the circular nut to hold the main bearing cap until just before the inserting tool and the rear of metal will be touched. Turn the flywheel in a direction reverse to the direction of engine rotation. When the pawl of the metal has been aligned with the pawl hole in the crankshaft, Continue turning the flywheel until the metal end aligns with the cylinder block end. Installation of upper metal will be completed. Loosen the circular nuts of holding tool to lower the main bearing cap. Remove the metal attaching detaching pin and metal inserting implement. Incorporate the lower metal to the cap. Afterwards, tighten the circular nuts of holding tool and remove the holding bolts. Fit the tightening nuts of main bearing cap and fasten them until its cap makes a close contact with the cylinder block. Tighten the side bolt on the non-operating side to half of the specified torque. Tighten the side bolt on the operating side to its seating by hand. Set the hydraulic jack to tightening nut of main bearing cap and fasten it by specified hydraulic pressure. Finally, Tighten the bolts on non-operating and operating side by the specified torque. After overhauling the main bearing metal, measure the deflection of crankshaft and thrust clearance. I'll explain here how to measure the clearance of thrust. Fix the stand of dial gauge to the cylinder block and contact the dial gauge with crankshaft. Firstly, move the crankshaft to the front side and set the dial graduation on zero point. Secondly, move it to the rear side and read the dial graduation. This value is the thrust clearance. Refer to the value of thrust clearance as you are watching in the video.